Why build traditionally? It might seem a little odd that in the 21st century, one who drives sophisticated cars, fly in fiberglass aeroplanes and browse the internet while on the bicycle, that we should construct new buildings in anything other than glass, steel and high-tech. Isn't that the architecture of our time? Well, the question could easily be replaced by asking, is how we build choice or is it fate? Is it determined by some hidden hand of history? Did the Renaissance happen because men chose once again to build in a classical style or because the Renaissance was somehow already predestined to happen in the 15th century Italy? And what is 21st century architecture? It is, or can be, exactly what we choose. But then it is often claimed that we are different now. Yes, of course, in some ways we are changed. But it is ludicrous to propose that we are somehow fundamentally different from our ancestors in the way we see, feel and experience our surroundings. We still find traditional architecture attractive because it is attractive. And yet many architects and designers deny themselves and the people they work for the choice to create any more of it. If we really were so different, why are Florence and Bath full of visitors and Cumbernauld in Scotland is not? This moral stand is of course untenable and we should conclude very strongly that we very much do have a choice. But why tradition? Isn't that just another word for old-fashioned, a sort of nostalgia for a past that never really was? Well, traditional architecture refers to good examples from the past, what we might call working in the light of experience. But it is itself a living art. It is not a style. It is a way of making progress armed with experience of what works visually, technically, and what is pleasing to the eye. Within this language are many styles, arts and crafts, the classical, gothic, and so on. But these are sampled and remixed for reasons of practicality and taste to create things that continue the past in new and exciting ways. As another example, nowadays we think carefully about our impact on the environment, and perhaps it is therefore a good time to reconsider traditional ways of making buildings, once again beautiful, robust, and crucially long-lasting. We hear a lot about sustainability, but forget that before the days of cheap energy, our ancestors faced the same problems, not as a lifestyle choice, but because to live unsustainably was to not survive at all. And this included their ways of building. The key was to grasp that buildings are expensive to build and should last a long time by being valued, not least as beautiful objects. Their design aimed not at this month's glossy trade magazine, but at the horizon of posterity. Architecture is fashion, only it is long-term fashion born of practical and time-tested solutions. Building in a practiced way will give us beautiful buildings. It will enhance their longevity long after we are gone and long after the passing of many fads. It will give us buildings designed for people, in proportions, in the composition of forms and materials, all guided by that long and profitable furrow of custom and tradition that looks to the future but crucially with the benefit of hindsight.